Welcome to Studa. We'd like you to meet some members of our team who will show you around our world-class facilities in London and Switzerland. Everyone at Studa takes a real pride and interest in the equipment they help to build. Many are actively involved in music and performance and that personal connection helps us to build the best products for our customers. At the heart of every piece of Studa equipment, the reason we're so advanced and so reliable is our commitment to research and development. So the first person we'd like you to meet is Peter Glatley at our R&D centre in Regensdorf, Switzerland. Hi, and welcome to the Studer R&D centre. This is the place where we constantly work on new ideas for Studer's technology. We strongly believe that research and development is teamwork, and all of our team members are passionate about music and broadcast. So let me introduce you to some of them. Here we meet Lawrence, a member of the DSP Core and hardware team. I'm part of the Studer Core Technologies Group, and uh, we're in charge of the I.O. cards and the DSP cards you will find in the core. Uh, as an embedded software engineer, my responsibilities have been the development and maintenance of all the algorithms. This is the project engineering team. They're the interface to our customers and you as a student partner. Silva, can you please explain your work? As a sales project team, we represent a kind of student uh, interface to our customers. We discuss with the customers their requirements and uh, look for the best technical and commercial solutions. Here we meet the team leaders of the support and product engineering team, Marco and Stefan. The main focus of the customer service department is to provide second and third level support for our distributors or for our end users. We are the link between sales and production. This means we create the project specific drawings and discuss the solutions together with customers and distributors. In the studio lab, we find Roman, one of our senior software engineers. Me and my colleagues are responsible for developing the desk software of the Vista, On-Air and VI series consoles. I'm also a professional sound engineer and producer, which helps me a lot understanding our customer needs. Now back to Russ, where the real products are crafted out of these great ideas. Hello, welcome to the Studer Production Facility. Let me show you around. The production floor is just over 4,100 square meters. The majority of the floor is for the build and the testing of Studer consoles. This is our surface mount facility. This is uh, a very sophisticated line. We invested over $4 million in this. This is our Yestec AOI machine, which we recently acquired. It's a very clever machine, this, because it takes the computer-aided design data from R&D and then uses that to look at the component orientation, solder joint quality, etc. Here we have Pam and Jigna at the AFS station. This is after faux solder. If there are any components which can't actually be fitted by any machine, then these ladies here will do that. I'd like to introduce you to Ganesh. Ganesh here works alongside me in the test department and is working on the development of a particular test for a board here. We have, I would say, the most sophisticated audio measurement equipment really in the world. Steve here is responsible for testing DSP and bridge cards for the Studa consoles. We use a, an S-Core, then a piece of software called CTS, which is developed by Studa, which thoroughly tests out the DSPs 100%. Chris is testing all the Vistonics modules thoroughly. We test all the switches out, all the LEDs, and check for TFT consistency. Here we have a Vista 5 console, which is being tested by Martin here. Martin is a senior test engineer. This particular console is one of five which have been specifically configured for a client. In this cell, we build and test the Vista 9 range of Studa consoles. This is one of the most customized um, products that we do. For example, this one is a 32 fader frame size, and actually it wasn't designed to be this small originally, but uh, whatever the customers ask for, that's what we try to produce. Reliability is of uh, paramount concern to us. Um, we leave all systems on for a minimum of 72 hours, a soak test, and once we're completely satisfied, then we'll pass it on to our quality audit, and from there it'll go to customer acceptance uh, upstairs. This is our fully equipped demonstration studio where we have one example of every major Studer product available for our customers to try or to train on, all connected together via Route 6000 system. 
We also have integrated CMS, that's the call management system, and a full Pro Tools system so we can provide multi-track audio all around the studio. In the equipment room, we house all the cores, DSP and I.O. for the studio consoles in the demonstration area. There's also the computers for the Pro Tools system, CMS and the Route 6000. These are our acceptance test rooms, where customers come to check their consoles or systems prior to delivery back to their home country. Meanwhile, our dedicated training room provides a comfortable environment for presentations, trainings or even just big meetings. This is our customer area, where our guests can relax in between meetings or whilst doing their acceptance tests on their consoles and systems. We call this the Time Tunnel. Here we have examples of Studa and Soundcraft equipment going back right to the beginning, from the J37 tape machine used on the Beatles' Sgt Pepper album at Abbey Road, to the early Studa mixers, the first Soundcraft mixer developed in 1973, Studa tape machines and digital tape machines, right through to the digital consoles you know today. So that's Studa. We hope you've enjoyed meeting our people, and we'd love to see you here soon.